started with 300 students in this competition and now 60 students are left representing 13 schools. Please, get out! Today, the remaining teams will have to maneuver their drones through this obstacle course and by the end of the day, there will be a crowned champion of the National Youth Tech Championships 2024. It is the finals of the National Youth Tech Championship, the premier tech competition for Infocom Club CTA members. And today, we will be seeing who can maneuver through this obstacle course behind us. So today, it doesn't matter if the students are programmers, challengers or even content creators. They share the same goal, to be crowned champion. And this competition is made possible by IMDA in partnership with Google Cloud and this aims to keep the students curious, confident and creative about tech and they have not disappointed. Over the past two days, 25 schools went head-to-head -head in the semi-finals. Each school gave their all, but only 13 schools clawed their way here today, bringing them one step closer to victory. So here are the top 13 schools that have made it into the finals. He's more determined to do well, he's determined to win, and uh, of course the end game is actually to join as a Google intern. I'm definitely very proud of you and the whole school is actually rooted for me for them. So keep it up, all right, and all the way. Despite being a last year's winner, this is a different skill set altogether. This one is programming and more of how you can get a go to work in a really short period of time. Let me just bring you through what the students will be facing today. The mission for the semi-finals and finals consists of four courses. Just like the qualifiers, teams have to program their aerial drones using Python programming and AI functions to fly autonomously. The teams are given 15 minutes to try the mission in a Ninja Warrior-like style, scoring as many points as they can in the courses. The gauntlet course comprises of two circular loops, one high wall and one tunnel. The aim is to fly through the loops, over the wall and through the tunnel. Students have to figure out how to use the bottom-facing camera to recognize and track the line on the ground to provide directional guidance. They also have to analyze how to engage obstacles at the right height and position to pass through them. The labyrinth is made up of a 5x5 grid, with walls dividing the grid. The aim is to navigate the labyrinth, identify images within and exit the course. The team have to use the bottom-facing camera to track the QR coordinates on the floor while using proximity sensors to avoid hitting the wall panels while navigating the maze. To score more points, they have to deploy their Google Cloud trained ML models to search and recognize the IMDA and Google logos planted in the maze. The Tornado Tower requires the drone to track a rover for two rounds, recognize an image on the tower and perform a flip maneuver. To track the rover, the drone has to use its camera to identify a QR code on the rover and follow the rover's movement around the tower. After tracking the rover for at least two rounds, the drone has to deploy their Google Cloud trained ML model and recognize the IMDA logo on the tower. To score additional points, the drone has to correspondingly perform a 360-degree flip maneuver upon image recognition. The cliffhanger requires the drone to progressively scale to the top of the cliff making four landings along the course. Use the camera to identify the QR code on each platform, adjust to an optimal position and make a precise landing. The final landing on the cliffhanger signifies the end of the mission and a completion time is also taken. First, we also had the innovative cheer contest. So today we have a very special guest with us, Minister Josephine Teo. I'm curious, what's your thoughts on where technology will take us in 2030? No one can say for sure, but it's going to be a very big part of our lives and even more so than today. One particular trend that everyone is watching is uh, artificial intelligence. We will use it for our work, we will interact with it in uh, more ways than uh, we experience today. I'm really quite happy that the students have decided to embrace this and they take it upon themselves to learn some skills yeah. uh, to work with AI. They definitely and then hopefully learn they, a lot. yeah, in time to come, they might yeah, master actually it. Actually, from episode one or the first day that we met until today, there's You've been such following a huge them. Perform improvement. Indeed. One, two, three, 
I was looking at the, the participants, I'm quite happy that there are quite a lot of girls. Oh yeah, it's something that we noticed as well. Yes. And, so, and they are also as passionate, if not more passionate mm -hmm. than the So guys. science and tech is not just for guys, tech is certainly something that girls can also master. Absolutely. However powerful AI is, we don't want to leave humans out of the loop. Yeah. Uh, in many instances, we still prefer to interact with another person. So the way in which we think about it is how AI and other technologies can be used to work for humans and not the other way around. If you look at the students, I think that uh, they demonstrate to us not only the fact that they are digital natives, but they still have a great hunger to learn. I'm really very happy, I really applaud their sense of adventure and their willingness to try things that uh, they may not yet be familiar with. So, well said, Minister. Now, let's turn our attention to our brilliant contestants and their tech skills in action. Okay, guys, so, who do you think is going to win? I am supporting Dumbin Hai. Why? I feel like the RI is known to be very um, intimidating. Yeah. But Dumb and High, I can see they are the underdog. Oh, you like an underdog story. Like an underdog. I'm yeah. looking at that guy from R.I. Yeah. I think he got it. R.I is going to win. Just look at that guy. I think Daman is going to win. Why? From, the, from day one, we interviewed her. We interviewed that girl and the boy. He knows what he's doing. Oh, so you're telling me they get to choose which one to they do? Get, they are able to choose because different points in different stages. But just now I saw Raffles do a practice run, right? And they made it through. They made it through. Yeah, they made it through. It's smart to go to the library now because they're still stuck in that corner. So they know they have time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah! Yes! Let's go! They just did a, like a backflip. They just did a backflip. No! Whoa! Who put the shark there? Ah. Who put the shark there? Who <laughs> put the shark? Oh, it's going so fast! It's going so fast! Wow! 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 I like this girl. Look at so in yeah, control. She, exactly. Wow. Since the first day we met her, she knew what she was doing. teachers who have been supporting you in your journey. I hope that you truly felt that you learned something along the way. So you have a long way ahead of you and you're off to a good start. And uh, to all the teams who have entered the finals, however you look at it, given how stiff the competition was, you are all champions in your own way. Ladies and gentlemen, champions! Our National Youth Tech Championship 2024. Please give it up for our champions, Raffles Institution. If you a great deal of relief and a great deal of gratefulness to, uh, at least for me, to the entire team, especially to see who who has been helping out a lot throughout the entire time. I felt like it was a really, really good fight at Raffles Institution and um, no matter whether we, or we didn't win, but nonetheless, we will always thank them for this experience. Ah, ah what a day. What a journey. What a competition. 
feel like everything just happened so fast. And you can see all the fans cheering for their schools. Ah, I almost lost my voice. It is crazy to see the crowd, the, the growth, not just of the students, but of the whole competition itself. Of course, we saw Meishi standing over there. Yeah, you can stand in the middle. We met on the first day. You were doing the figure of eight. You were trying to figure that stuff out. And I would say that we are really proud of you and we are actually very impressed by you. I feel like the competition was a really, really great experience. And um, we got to learn different things, no matter whether it was at the start where um, I've actually had the honour to learn from Team Titan on content. And uh, my programmers as well as the challenger has also learned um, different things on like the fields that they chose to target in. And overall, it was a really great learning experience despite um, us not being able to win against Raffles. And um, we will definitely come again if we have the chance to win the future. Thank you. Next year. We'll see well, you again you next year. year. Thank you. Congratulations <laughs> Congrats. again. Congrats. Congrats. So that's it for the series. We'd like to thank all the participants, IMDA and the Google experts for joining us on this amazing journey to celebrate the students of the Infocom Media Club in Singapore. Yes, that's right. If you guys are entering secondary school, you can consider joining the Infocom Media Club CCA because the possibilities are endless. And you know what? This year, we have seen the students demonstrate so much determination, grit and heart to get to where they can in the competition. From coding with Python to challenging other schools better with and even content creation. Huh. So, to me, they're all winners in my heart. And we can't wait to see you guys next year. So in the meantime, stay curious, confident and creative. Hashtag NYCC,